Hello, friends. We are finishing up Luke today and tomorrow. We're in Luke chapter 23, and the verse I chose today is Luke chapter 23, verse 9, where Herod is plying Jesus with all these questions. He's just banging out questions to him and trying to get Jesus to respond. And it says, but Jesus gave him no answer. Now, you may find that verse interesting for me to pick. Why did I pick that verse? Why did that speak to me today? Yesterday, we talked about how Jesus doesn't have to say it. He doesn't have to show it. He is Messiah. It's his nature. It's his being. And by relationship with him, we find that out for ourselves, not through his words, not even through his actions. We find him to be our Messiah when we get to know him. And today, Herod is trying to get to know him, or at least find out about him, but Herod's not interested in knowing, knowing Jesus personally. He just wants to know about Jesus. He's trying to figure him out. And Herod plies him with all these questions, and Jesus gives no answer. I think that verse is very interesting because of Jesus' silence. It's his silence that speaks. You know, he doesn't have to defend himself. He can be silent because he already knows who he is. He doesn't have to argue with Herod because that's not going to prove anything to Herod. In fact, it's not going to make Herod change his mind. And he doesn't, he doesn't always give an answer to us when we ask him because he wants to be present in our lives. And I think about that with the grieving person. How even though they might cry out with the why question and what's going on and trying to understand and make sense of their situation. Sometimes the silent presence of Jesus is what they really need. Or, or the person that is hurting and struggling with something going on in their life. And what they need is that silent, persistent hand of Jesus to hold on to. Maybe you've been that person that's looking for the wise in life, trying to figure it out, struggling to make sense of faith and of Jesus and of the commands of God in a scripture that doesn't match our culture. And what you need is Jesus' silence to let you talk it out. Sometimes it's the silence of Jesus that says the most. And in Jesus' moment with Herod, he let Herod do all the talking so that the day, when the day came for the resurrection coming up next chapter, Herod would, would realize who he was in the presence of. Silence can be golden sometimes. You know that to be true. It's especially golden when Jesus is giving you his presence more than his words. And maybe you need that today. See, that's the interesting thing about prayer. Prayer, we can pray a lot like Herod talked, plying God with questions and requests, sending up a lot of words to God, wondering if he's listening, wondering if he's answering. But then when you're silent, and listening. He says more to you in your spirit than words could express in your ears. I want to suggest to you today to try something. So instead of just speaking to God or looking for conversation from Jesus, let him rest in silence with you. See if you don't feel the presence of God near you when you just allow it to be silent. You might just feel his voice speak to your spirit when <laughs> talking to your heart when you're quiet enough to hear what he's saying in the silence. God bless you as you do, and we'll finish up Luke tomorrow. I'll look forward to seeing you then.